Hi guys, it's Nigel, Locking Your Dependent Estate Agents, and I hope you're well. Today we've got a real treat for you because I'm standing in an idyllic position um, right in the countryside, and just in there behind me in this idyllic setting uh, is a barn conversion with Class Q planning permission being granted. And where is it? It's in the idyllic setting of Broker's Wood with beautiful views, amazing ground with it, lo lovely substantial gardens, it'll have ample parking, and it's an excellent opportunity to purchase this detached barn with planning permission into a private dwelling. Um, it will have its own access um, and connected services. Um, and like I said, with the substantial gardens and ample parking, it's located in such a picturesque uh, position, it's, gonna, it's very rare to even see these on the market. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm just gonna spin the camera and we're gonna go straight across with that five bar gate there is. We're gonna go straight into the, the grounds of the property. We're gonna have a look, uh, look around. But like I said, it's got the class Q planning permission that's been granted. And as we talk about uh, the property and we're into uh, the rear of it and into the gardens, I'll just cover off uh, the class Q because it is coming up for, uh, for nine months. I think later we can, we can renew that um, and extend that for another three years, which the owners uh, can do. You can get Wessex Water also to connect the services. So there's things that we will talk about, but let me just uh, just say this. This is a very wonderful uh, opportunity to purchase something like this, but they are very rare to come onto the market. So it's a pleasure to have it on the market today. So let's go and turn around and go into this property, which is set in Broker's Wood. And here we go guys as we're just coming up Silver Lane there and all you can see right across there as we're going to go into this far, uh, five bar gate are views and views and countryside. Broker's Wood, things around you, um, you've got Broker's Wood Country Park, Longleat's only 20 minutes up the road, the Safari Park, you've got a lovely pub as well um, in the next village in Rudge. Um, what else have you got? It's got plenty of equestrian use around here. There's fishing lakes. And look what we have here available today is this barn conversion. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful size. It has to be within the keeping of the, 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 the conversion itself. So you can't make too many alterations now. It's got to be within here. There were some pigsties there. So potentially you could put a garage there. I think the, the owner's got some pictures of the old pigsties. There's a little storage shed, shed as well. All this land goes with this property. You're gonna to need to get your services in there. A septic tank I think will also be provided. Then you come into the barn itself. Look at this vast space that's available. Stunning. And here you can just plot your course. I think the, the owner was gonna to decide to do this herself. And she was gonna have two bedrooms here with en suites and an open plan, living room and a lit lounge there. It's absolutely a decent sized space, this. And I just wanna walk around this barn because it does get better as well. But this is for your imagination and what you wanna do with it. And look, anybody that's looking to purchase this property, you might have a rough build of 200, 250,000 pound, for instance. If you pick this up and you pick this property up and then you make the conversion yourself into a property that you wish and you want, let me ask you this. What are you gonna find on the market when you combine the total of the build cost to where you are in Broker's Wood in, in the middle of the countryside with beautiful views across to Westbury there? I haven't measured this. This could be just under half an acre. It could be half an acre. But this is what's on offer here. Absolutely stunning. All this is your boundary line. So there's even a covenant I think the owner's going to put in that nobody can ever put caravans down here to spoil the view. And I think that's the only covenant in place that she's insisting on because she does insist on this view <laughs> being unspoiled. And who would blame her? The country park in there, Broker's Wood, is just in there behind. Look as I turn around this, turn this camera around. Look what's on offer here. Absolutely stunning. Uh, Wessex Water, I think you have to pay them. They'll then bring up the water. Then you're gonna to have to have private contractors to sort that out. But there is a cost and we think it's a thousand pound for Wessex Water. That'll bring it up from down there up to here. And then there was a quote, I think for about four grand. So that's gonna cost somewhat five grand to get the water supply. There is running electric and you can borrow some electric as well from the owner. She's happy to do that. And look at this. This is what you'll be surrounded by. Stunning, stunning countryside. So I think with properties like this, if you've got questions, obviously just get hold of me. It's Nigel at Lock and Key Dependent Estate Agents. Obviously there will be bits and pieces that you want to know about the Class Q. 
um, situation. I think that runs out in nine months. The owner's quite happy to get that extended, basically do it again. So it's then three years, then you don't have to. If someone wants to buy this now, I'm sure they can get that build done in nine months time. But if, it, if we do need to extend it, or I should say reapply, the owner's more than happy to do that and get that done for another three years. Then whoever buys this has got plenty of time to do whatever they'd like with this barn conversion. We'll obviously set out the planning number so you can have a look at it online. Let me just turn this around one more time. I think it's a pleasure today. It's actually quite useful to have the clouds because then it's not in my eyes when I do this. But all this up to that boundary point goes with the property. I want to just foot walk further along. And of course all you can hear are birds. This is the gate we came in. There is a lovely stone cottage there that's been extended. And I think there's a lease on this land as well. And I think anybody, when that lease is up, they just want to keep this land continuing to itself. We don't want anything else in there in terms of caravans or anything from the country club. I think they've got enough. But I think that's the plan there. Absolutely stunning. Like I said, potentially there, this is where you put a garage or a double garage if you wanted to. I just want to walk further up as well because there is this kind of outbuilding. It's a storage shed. I just want to talk about this because, uh, again, it's always useful to have extra storage. But this is where the pig styes used to be. And I think there you can build your garage, but you just need to double check that again to make sure you don't need planning permissions or anything like that. But I do know the owner's got some photos of the pig styes from before, if that's useful for any of the potential purchaser that'd be interested in this. Come back through here. And then there's the storage shed that opens up. I'm just going to come back a little bit so you can just see it there door opening to now it is going to be closed off a little bit so it won't be as big you can see there's a border line here just about here this is just some partitioning so she will be bringing this up so actually the storage shed is going to come to about here inside so let's run my finger across here to here because this is just a bit a uh, bit of wood but you can see there's a beam there's so probably where this steel beam is it's going to be the amount of storage and shed that you're going to have here and there we have just the side elevation. Let's just walk around it one more time. Obviously that's the gate that we came into. And of course there will be ample parking, but it is a picturesque location, Broker's Wood. It's about two and a half miles from Trowbridge. It's ideally situated and located between Bath, even Salisbury. You've got uh, Warminster, you've got other towns like Melksham. Um, and it's just a lovely rural position, this. The neighbouring towns of Westbury, Froome and Trowbridge are close by. And like I said there, you know, obviously with services, your own inquiries should be made. Wessex Water will install a new water supply. There's no mains gas in the area or mains drainage, and a septic tank will be provided as well. So there we have it, guys. I think this is just a beautiful set setting. To summarise, it's about as rare as hen's teeth. Honestly, whatever you think of the barn conversion, I think we can all agree that this beautiful view and location is stunning. Anybody that wants a lifestyle move and they want to plot a land with a barn conversion, well, there we have it. It's ready, it's winking, it's ready to buy. Any questions, it's Nigel at Lock and Key. Feel free to give me a nudge. I hope you've enjoyed the tour and I look forward to hearing from you.